from the St. Ignatius Chapel at the Manresa Jesuit Spiritual Renewal Center in Pickering, Ontario. The National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents the Daily TV Mass. Welcome to the celebration of the Daily TV Mass. I am Father Vijay Amirtharaj. The televising of this Mass is made possible by the contribution from the estate of Max I of Edmonton, Alberta. This Mass is offered for the living and deceased members of the Wan, Lim, and Li families and for the daily TV Mass celebrants and community. We know that this television Mass brings meaning to the lives of tens of thousands of faithful in Canada and around the world. And they join with me in thanking the late Max Wan for the gift of this Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, our God is a God of mercy and a God who forgives us and our sins. It is without faith we gather together, and it is without faith we turn to the Lord and seek God's mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Every word of God proves true. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Do not add to his words, or else he will rebuke you, and you will be found a liar. Two things I ask of you. Do not deny them to me before I die. Remove far from me falsehood and lying. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with the food that I need, or I shall be full and deny you, and say, Who is the Lord? or I shall be poor and steal and profane the name of my God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. false ways far from me, and graciously teach me your law. The law of your mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp my feet. The Lord exists forever. Your word is firmly fixed in heaven. I hold back my feet from every evil way in order to keep your word. Your word, O oh Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Through your precepts,
precepts I get understanding. Therefore I hate every false way. I hate and abhor falsehood, but I love your love. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. <coughs> Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The kingdom of God is near. Repent and believe the good news. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus called the twelve together and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal. He said to them, Take nothing for your journey, nor staff, nor bag, nor bread, nor money, not even an extra tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and leave from there. Wherever they do not welcome you, as you are leaving that town, shake the dust off your feet as a testimony against them. They departed and went through the villages, bringing the good news and curing diseases everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dr. Tony Campolo is a well-known American inspirational speaker and an author who spent much of his time traveling around the world on speaking tours. And while he traveled around, his wife Peggy had chosen to stay home and bring up their two children. And on those rare occasions when Peggy did travel with Tony, she found herself engaged in conversation with some of the most accomplished people of the world, doctors, lawyers, politicians, and so on. And after one such trip, Peggy told Tony that sometimes as she meets with these powerful people, she finds herself feeling intimidated and sometimes even questioning her own self-worth. Dr. Tony said to her, well, honey, why don't you come up with something you could say when you meet people that will let them know that you strongly value what you do and how crucial and important it is for the society. 
Well, not long after that, Dr. Tony and uh, Peggy Campolo were at a party when a woman said to Peggy in a rare, rather condescending tone, well, my dear, what do you do? And Tony Campolo heard his wife say, I am nurturing two homo sapiens into the dominant values of the Judean Christian tradition in order that they may become instruments for the transformation of the social order into the kind of the eschatological utopia God envisioned from the beginning of time. And the other woman said, oh my, I am just a lawyer. <laughs> Sisters and brothers, our gospel reading today speaks of how our Lord Jesus called and sent out his apostles to proclaim and heal, just as he called and sent forth Dr. Tony Campolo to be an author and speaker and his wife to be a caretaker or a person who cares for her children. The gospel tells us that Jesus called his apostles to be with him and to learn from him. And that is what they have been doing until this point in Luke's gospel. They followed Jesus. They saw him preach the gospel. They saw him cure the sick. And they saw him perform miracles. But it is one thing to see, but another thing to actually do. It is sometimes like seeing the young altar servers who shadow their senior altar servers for many months. And when the time comes for them to actually do it by themselves, they are at a loss. Happily, after a few times, they pick it up and become more confident. So after a period of being with Jesus, after a time of learning from him, the, they are sent out by Jesus to do the very things that he was doing, namely to care, to preach, to heal, and so on. And what we notice here is that the sending out of the apostles has an interesting mixture of power and dependence. On the one hand, Jesus lends to his apostles his own power to preach, to teach, to heal and cast out demons. But then on the other hand, he instructs them not to take anything with them. I'm sure we all know how hard that is because the tendency always is to pack and take more than we actually need, just in case. When I travel, I always end up packing more than what I really would need. Now, taking nothing or taking less would make the movement of the apostles easy from one place to the other. But more importantly, taking nothing or taking very little invites them to trust God for their day-to-day -day needs. It is as if Jesus telling his apostles, you saw me multiply the loaves and fish. Can you trust me to provide for your food and drink? You saw me cast out many demons. Can you trust me to provide for you your shelter? You saw me calm the sea. Can you trust me to calm your fears about your material security? Now, sisters and brothers, these questions about trust are addressed not only to the apostles. They are also addressed to each of us because today we are the disciples of Jesus. We are called to be the apostles of Jesus. And our Lord Jesus has called us and he has taught us and he has sent us out into the world like the apostles, to be his witnesses, to be his instruments. Now, as we do that, he may not instruct us, as he did with his apostles, 
to take nothing with us for our journey. However, he asks us to trust in him for our security. Jesus, I trust in you, should not simply be a slogan that we only see on the divine mercy portraits. It must become our way of life. And that is the invitation that Jesus extends to us today through the calling and sending of his apostles. So as we continue with this mass, we pray for a deeper trust in the Lord, a trust that may become a way of life for us each and every day. Amen. And let us now offer to God our prayers and petitions with trust. For all those in our daily TV Mass Prayer Intentions book, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And we offer our community prayer this month to our Blessed Mother, who through her seven sorrows shared in our pain and suffering. Through her intercession, we pray for the sick and for those who care for them, that both will find their faith and hope renewed and deepened. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for all of us celebrating this Mass, that we may grow in our trust in our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And we also pray for all those who are sick in our families, in our communities, and those we know, and those who have asked for our prayers. For them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Loving and gracious God, hear us and hear our prayers and help us to grow in our trust in you. And we ask this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual food. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name, may serve the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels 
as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was he ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Francis, our Bishop, and all the clergy and the people you have gathered. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, and have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us share with one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter, enter under my, my roof, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul so that I may unite myself wholly to you, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies, so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass.